Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today's topic, does a VPN protect from malware? Even though VPNs, virtual private networks, have been around for years, there's still a lot of confusion about how they work and what they do. Some people have gotten the impression that they're a security measure similar to a firewall or anti-malware or antivirus software, protecting their device from malware. Is this true? Does a VPN protect you from malware? The threat. If you've used a computer for more than a week, you've heard about malware, or at least viruses, a type of malware. Malware is a generic term for malicious software. What can malware do? Steal data, delete data, lock your files and prevent you from using them. That's the case with ransomware. Spy on you, including audio and video. Damage your hardware, or use your device to send spam or malware. How to increase your security. Obviously, malware is something you want to avoid. And people have heard that a VPN, a virtual private network, is a good way to protect themselves online. So some people think a VPN will protect them from malware. This is not true, with only one exception that I'm aware of, which I'll explain later. A VPN simply reroutes your internet traffic. Normally, your traffic goes from your device to your ISP. That's your internet service provider, a company like Comcast, Spectrum, or AT&T, which is probably in or near your city. From there, your traffic then goes out to the public internet. A VPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the VPN node, which could be in another city, state, or country. So your VPN just moves the place where your traffic joins the public internet. It doesn't provide additional malware protection. Any site that you visit will be as safe or as dangerous as it would be without going through the VPN. Imagine there was a concrete tunnel from your front door to the front door of your best friend's house. You'd feel safe going back and forth, knowing that no one could bother you as you walk. Now imagine that the tunnel goes from your front door to a prison yard, where inmates walk freely. The tunnel would still protect you from people outside the tunnel, but it wouldn't protect you from any inmates who choose to walk to your house. In this analogy, the tunnel is the VPN. Your friend's house is a safe website that you visit. The prison yard is a potentially dangerous website that you visit. Just as the tunnel doesn't restrict travel within it, a VPN doesn't stop anything malicious from sites that you visit. Because a VPN doesn't protect against malware, even when you use a VPN, you still need to use caution online, use a secure browser, and keep your firewall and anti-malware enabled, whether that's built into your operating system or third-party software. If you use a Mac, I have a post and a previous episode on the best Mac anti-malware. So what good is a VPN if it doesn't block malware? Well, a VPN protects your traffic from being eavesdropped between you and your connection to the public internet. It's especially useful when you use public Wi-Fi, such as at a coffee shop or airport, because it prevents others who are using that Wi-Fi from seeing your traffic. Also, ISPs usually log your internet activity. So if you want to keep your ISP from tracking you, that's another reason to use a VPN. I am aware of one VPN provider that does protect against malware, in a way. NordVPN has a feature called CyberSec. When you try to visit a website, it checks a blacklist of sites that are known to host malware. If the site you want to visit is on that blacklist, it will block you, though you do have the option to proceed anyway. This feature is more of an internet filter than true anti-malware, because it isn't scanning files or network activity for malware, it's just blocking blacklisted websites. The fact remains that, in general, VPNs do not protect against malware. Now, I do have another post about VPNs um, and how to select a VPN service, and I've done a previous episode on that, which you can find at DefendingDigital.com. What you should do. 1. If you need a VPN, see my post about choosing a VPN service. A couple that I like are ProtonVPN. You can learn more about that at DefendingDigital.com slash go slash ProtonVPN. And also private internet access, which is defendingdigital.com slash go slash PIA. If you want a VPN that will block access to malicious sites, check out NordVPN. That's the one that I mentioned a minute ago. Um, and that you can find at defendingdigital.com slash go slash NordVPN, N-O-R-D VPN. Two, even when you use your VPN, use caution online. Use a secure browser and keep your firewall and anti-malware enabled whether it's built into your operating system or third-party software. That's it for today. You can learn more about internet security and online privacy at defendingdigital.com.
I hope you're enjoying the podcast. If you are, I'd love to hear from you. If you could leave a rating uh, and even a review in Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, uh, Google Podcasts, whatever you are using to listen to this podcast. Um, also appreciate it if you would spread the word. If you have any other security and privacy-minded friends, uh, let them know about Defending Digital. Thanks.